so good morning and welcome to the 1st of July. We've had a little break, but we're back now. And today we are going to do some standing poses. So if we can all uh, stand up and you will need some chair, um, sturdy chair at some point. Okay, so let's stand up and <clears throat> we're going to bring the soles of the feet together or you can have your feet hip distance. Let's just spread our toes and lean a little bit forward so we're a bit too much on our toes so you're slightly tilting just to waken up the toes and then lean a little bit back so you're more on your heels and then come in between those points so you want to be standing balanced between front and back and then we can do the same like if you go too much onto the outside edge of your feet and then collapse in and then find the midpoint between those so you feel your big toe joint nice and steady on the floor now soften your knees slightly but press your feet into the floor roll the shoulders back and down and just push push into the floor stretch yourself up and then relax so we're going to inhale bring the shoulders up to the ear exhale down Inhale, shoulders up to the ears, exhale. Shoulders up to the ears, exhale. Let's take that into a rotation now. So we're rolling the shoulders back and down. You can, let's involve our body as well. So we're going to bend the knees a little bit as we rotate the shoulders, feeling maybe a little bit of crunching going on there. And we'll change that direction, so go the other way. And the last one. Lovely. Right, take the feet a little bit wider. Take the arms out to the side. Again, soften the knees. We're going to inhale. Stretch up to the ceiling. Exhale down. In. Stretch up and down. Stretch up and down. Change direction. In. Stretch up. And down. Great. Right, let's bring our feet together. And we're going to bend our knees. So, so you're sitting back and keep your knees uh, over your toes. Take the arms out to the side. Take a, that's it, lovely. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to take the arms up. Keep sitting. Shoulders away from the ears. If you need to, you can have the arms make a big Y. Hold and then inhale. Me. So we'll do that again. So just your feet. If you can't have the joint of the big toe touching and then your toes joining and the inner ankles, the inner heels, if they will. Okay, and again, bend the knees. So have your knees just over your toes. Take the arms out to the side. Notice how you've activated your core, lower abdomen into the spine. Exhale. So either we're making a Y shape or if you can, parallel arms, you can sit a bit lower if you can. Hold, hold, hold. Inhale up, lovely. Good. It's quite a good warm up, isn't it? <laughs> and then we're going to do that one more time. Pressing the feet into the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale. We're sitting. So check that your knees are over your toes, arms out to the side, bring the arms forward. Sit a bit more if you can. 
keep the thumbs lifting and inhale to come up okay great okay right from there we're going to head down to the end of our mat facing up the chair and we'll bring um, our left foot forward and have the right foot just slightly turned up. So we're doing our trick and ask now. I'm going to hinge from the top of the uh, left leg, bring your hand down to your chair. Now, if you find when you do that, that you, your body is humping a bit, you might want to have your hand a little bit higher. So Richard, have your arm a little higher. That's better. And then we're going to really length out from the top of the leg. Hi, Nicole, good morning. Lengthening. So you'll probably feel that in the inner thigh. So if it's too strong, you need to come up a little bit. If you're not really feeling anything, you can make your legs a little bit wider and lengthen a little bit longer. Some of you can begin to get your hands down. But don't be in a rush for that. So check that your hand is over your shoulder, shoulders away from the ears. Lovely. And then inhale to come back. Good. Okay, let's uh, bring our feet back to the center. And we're going to go to the other side. Well, actually, we're going to have to change the chair. Up, so let's just switch the chair around. So we're taking our right foot towards the chair, left foot just slightly forward of your right leg. And we're going to hinge this time from the top of that right leg. So you're going to feel that inner thigh stretch. Just take your hands where. You can comfortably reach so that both sides of the waist are staying the same length. If you're having to do that humping bit, then you need to go a little bit higher. So Richard, take your arm higher. This, this arm higher. The, no, the other arm. And we're lengthening down. So if you're feeling that quite strongly there, you might want to come up a little bit. If you're not really feeling it, you can go more. Lengthening out from the top of that leg. Breathing. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Nice, lovely, that's nice to center. And then to come up, we're going to press through the back foot to lift up. So really press down through that back foot to get the stability to come up. Great, okay, so we'll put our chair back to the, to the other side of the mat. And we're going to take our feet wide apart. Okay, Richard, come down and feet wide apart. Lovely. So let's stretch through our arms, let our shoulders descend and turn your feet so that the, the toes are maybe fractionally coming in towards each other. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Wide legs, Richard. That's lovely. Okay, and then just drop your arms a moment. And if you, if you can, you can take your legs even wider. Keeping your feet parallel and lift the weight to the outside edge of the feet as well as the, the big toe joint. Take the arms up again, drop the shoulders. So we're going to rotate our arms now, lifting the arms up. So you can make a big Y shape, drop your shoulders down, and then gradually, if you can, you can bring the arms to parallel. 
Shoulders dropping down, breathing. Breathing. And release. Okay, so now I'm going to turn to face our chair. So if you've got your left foot forward and your right foot is turned as well, have your right foot and left foot a little bit in, in parallel lines rather than, than in the same straight lines. So we're going to have that left foot forward, we just bend that left knee and go down into our warrior one. So if you're pregnant, don't, don't take your arms over the head because it's enough to be working in the legs. Turning, rotating that um, right hip to face towards your chair and then you can lift the arms up if you're lifting arms up. Check that your rib cage is dropping. If you're not lifting arms yet, catch the hands behind your back and just squeeze the shoulder blades together. If, you, if it's quite easy for you to drop, you can take the legs a bit wider. See if you can get the knee over the ankle and eventually we're looking to a parallel line with the um, front leg. The thigh parallel to the floor. Two, two more breaths. Strong back leg pushing into that back heel and we're going to inhale to come back. Lovely, good. And then release. So let's try that again but we'll go to the other side. So we're standing down the mat and we're going to bring the right foot forward this time. Keep the left foot back. The left foot is turned to, to, uh, to face the chair, but just slightly at an angle towards the wall, maybe 30 degrees. And then we're going to bend that front leg. Find the right angle for your back foot. If it's really hard for your back foot, you can just ro rotate onto your back toes. Uh, if that's what is better for you. So we're aiming to get the knee over the ankle and we want to try and get parallel um, thigh down with the floor. You catch the hands behind your back. If you're pregnant especially, or if you find your arms are a bit stiff, you can do that. Otherwise, let's bring your arms up, fingers pointing to the ceiling. You can get the thumbs going back behind us, drop the shoulders, open the chest, big call. That's lovely. And two more breaths. Now then inhale to come up. Lovely. Good. Okay. So from there, we're going to uh, do some balance. So I'd like you to have your uh, belt ready. Right, so we're facing down the mat and we're going to, standing on our left leg, just bring your right leg up to where you can get a comfortable uh, stretch down the right leg and you'll probably feel it in your left leg as well. Make sure you've got your belt handy. Now, if that's too high for you, then you can be on the top of the seat. Just enough that you start to get a stretch. For some people, you know, they have to start off on this even lower. You just want to feel you're beginning to get that stretch through the, the hamstring. And then we're going to take our belt around the foot and see if you can lift, wherever you are, see if you can lift that belt. With your belt, lift with your belt your foot so that you're actually balancing. Lovely. Some of you can lift higher. That's it Richard, lovely. And then take the foot down again. 
and then holding the belt. Take that into a rotation, so we're doing a little twist now. And if you can, you can lift. Oops. You can lift off. Um, Hazel, you need to be using the other hand because it's just a rotating twist, you know. Nice, and then release. Okay, lovely. So just ease out from that. And then we'll swap legs. So we're standing on the right foot now. Bring our left leg up. Use our belt. So it may be that you're not going to manage today to get your foot off, but that's what we're working towards. So you can just hold that position. But if you can, oops, lift. See how you have to work your core, bringing your lower abdomen into the spine, really work the standing leg, the standing foot, to make sure that you're using all your right foot to help you to keep your balance. Nice, and then release. So bring your foot back down and we'll Take, so we've got our left leg up and we're holding the belt with the left hand. So now we're going to change and hold the belt with the right arm. So it's still the left leg up, but we're holding with the right arm. And then we're turning, rolling away to the left and then lifting up if we can. Oops. Get the balance. I'm quite challenged this morning. Lifting up. So, shoulders down away from the ears. Lovely. And then release. Good. It works quite well if you if you have a wall that you can um, just touch when you feel you're losing the balance and then let go when you're ready. That way it helps you to build up to the balance. Nice. Okay. So from there, let's come about three quarters down the mat, feet hip distance, and we're going to just rotate our uh, left foot out to the left and bring the right foot forward and then turn that left hip so we're bringing our hips to face forward now for some of you you need to come really high in order to keep a nice straight back for those of you that find that easy and need a little bit more stretch then you can come to the chair lengthening forward so you'll feel that now in the front leg shoulders away from the ears Lovely. And then bending the front knee, we're going to transfer the weight to lift up, lift that left leg behind us, keep the hips pointing down to the floor. You can bring the hands higher. Shoulders away from the ears.
from using the chair to help you keep nice and straight in that pose. And then bending the knee will come down. So both feet in Uttanasana, both feet hip distance, we'll just hang forward. Okay, now, from there, keep your um, left foot where it is. We'll just take our right foot back, following a parallel line, and have your right foot just slightly turned out, away from the centre. And then we are rotating that right hip. So both hips are facing towards our chair. And again, we're going to just bend forward. So come as high as you need, so you've got a lovely straight back. Shoulders away from the ears. Those of you that need a little bit more stretch, lengthen down. Okay, and then we are going to bend the front leg and bring the back leg up. Keep the hips pointing down to the floor. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathing. In through the nose. Through the Lovely, and then to come down, we're going to bend the knee, just put your foot back on the floor again, and then we'll take both feet into parallel, and we'll do our Uttanasana forward bend. So we can use the height of the chair to bend forward if that gives us a nicer lengthening in the spine. If you, if you need to, because it, it may be that you don't really feel anything in your hamstrings if you're high. If you can get a nice long back, and hand forward, leaning on the chair, or those of you that enjoy that, you can just let your, your hands be on the floor backs of the hands on the floor fingers curling And then to come up, coming back to our chair. Let, lovely long spine. You can also catch your hands behind your back to squeeze your shoulders together. Okay, so I'd like to actually do one more um, leg balance with the chair before we go to the floor. So you're facing um, forward and then we've I've got my left leg to the chair, so I'm just going to turn, lift the left leg up, but instead of being facing towards my foot, I'm rotating away. So my right foot is facing forward, and we're getting a little rotation with that left hip to roll it back and down. So if you find that your left hip won't drop, it means that you're a little bit too high. So you want to just um, maybe come down a bit or you can stand on something to 
to lift yourself up. So there's a rotation going on. Now let's see if we can use, well, let's use our belt. So we put our belt around the left thigh and then we're going to catch it with that right hand. So we've got our left leg up, we put the belt around the left thigh. You can have your left leg much lower, there's no need to have it so high. Just wherever you can be comfortable and get, begin to feel that rotation, that left thigh turning, and then we'll just slide along to the left. Some of you can catch your toe, your toe, uh, big toe. Keep the chest open, beautiful. Breathing. So Richard, you can just, you got your leg there, just get your leg lifted and you can just take the back of the hand against your leg and just rotate. So you're opening the right shoulder. Good. Feel that stretch. As long as you're feeling something up that left leg, then you know you're doing a good job. Great, and release. Okay, so I'm gonna change the chair uh, for me so you can still see what I'm up to. Facing forward, this time our um, right foot is by the chair. We're putting the right foot at a height that suits us. It could be that it's quite low. To, you might be on the chair uh, seat or if you can get up then fine. And then we're going to just rotate from that right uh, thigh, we want to rotate it back and down. This uh, left foot is pointing straight forward. And then we're going to put our belt just around the thigh and then reach back to catch. Lovely. So that we're opening up. Now, if you're not able to reach with the belt and so on, don't worry, but just use the back of the right hand against the leg and help you to rotate. So your left shoulder is rotating, a lovely straight spine. Those of you that can, sliding down, some of you can catch uh, your left foot. Really work your hands towards that right thigh. So we're looking for straight leg, Richard, because we want to feel the stretch through that um, right, behind the right thigh. Breathing, let's hold for three more breaths. Lovely, and then release. So, so hopefully you could all feel that there, yeah? And from there, we are going to ease out. So let's just do a wide leg forward bend before we sit on the floor. So we need to get enough height. For those of you that are pretty flexible, maybe um, some blocks might be sufficient. I'll show you, with, first of all, we want to take our legs nice and wide again. Both feet on the floor and then we're just going to hinge forward onto, onto our chair. If you can, you can take the, the legs wider, but you want to make sure you, you, you're under control so you're not worried about suddenly um, over stretching and then forearms on the floor, uh, on the chair I mean, and then you can bring your forehead. So if you're using the top of the chair, that's fine, just stay nice and high. Uh, basically you want to have your spine as long as possible and if you if 
if you are quite low down, you can use blocks. Now, what's happening to the feet? So we want to bring the weight to the outside edge of the feet, lifting the insteps. So you feel your feet working quite hard. If that's too much pressure on the feet, then walk your toes in a little bit, walk your feet in. Long spine. And if you are very far down, you can walk your hands between your feet and let your head drop down. You can also bring your elbows parallel and bring them behind you. and then walking our hands forward again so let's just bring our feet inch our feet in a little bit hands on the hips so you can bend your knees to come up safely bend your knees and then bring our feet together yeah great lovely okay so we're going to head down to the floor now all right so we're going to kneel um so if you need to, you're going to have some blocks to sit on. I'll show you from the side. So we're going to kneel and bring our right knee in front of our left knee. We're then walking the heels away and we're sitting <clears throat> between the heels. If you need your height, you can use your wobble cushion or blocks or a cushion or a bolster. So let's see if we can get our knees stacked one on top of the other, catching hold of our knees, lifting up tall as we can. We can use our back. So we can always put the belt underneath the knee and then help us to get a lovely long line. So you, you might feel that down the thighs, shoulders rolling back and down. See if you can get really long from pubic bone to sternum, roll the shoulders back and down, breathe in. So if you find that really hard to do, you can just have both legs straight and just bring one uh, foot over and hold that way. So you're, at least you're getting some of that, <clears throat> the benefit of that. And then we're taking our uh, right arm, which is the arm of the leg that's nearest to your arm, highest, and the other arm comes under. Drop the shoulders, breathe in. Okay, so we're thinking about our sit bones, we're sending them down to the floor, we're dropping our shoulders, we're letting, letting the crown of the head lengthen. Take the arms wide, let's catch the hands behind the back, squeeze the shoulders together. And then see if you can come forward a little bit, see if you can bring your lower abdomen to touch your thigh. And then if that's okay, you can take the arms out to the side and then come forward a little. So you're bending forward over your thigh.
lovely coming up well done and then we're going to i we're going to come change sides so if you want to do it the um frisky way so we're just going to come forward like this onto our knees and change whichever knees in front so this time the left knees in front take the heels apart otherwise you can do it whichever way works for you now if you find this position isn't going to work even when you're up on um, you know uh, up on something then you can have your straight right leg and just bring your left leg over and holding the, the left leg so we're getting our belt again take the belt around that bottom knee and get as much height as we can so we just want to get really long in the body we want the crown of the head reaching up to the ceiling shoulders dropping back and back think about your sit bones descending down really long in the spine just make sure that you're sitting high enough on something if you find that's a bit too strong for your for your um, knees or feet or hips nice so keeping that same lovely length we're bringing the left arm up swing the right under and catch as much as you can and again you can use you can just catch like this if if you can't get all the way around that's fine or obviously you can use your belt and get just something to hold on to so that you're getting some um, version of that drop the shoulders down And then release. Okay, so keeping high, see if you can bring your lower tummy just to push against the upper thigh. And then we can take the arms out to the sides. So we're just leaning forward a little bit. nice and then to come up lengthen really long come up really long in the front body and then we can just unwind our legs and just give them a little shake out okay so make sure that you're up um high enough if you want to make sure richard that you're sitting on something and we're going to stretch our legs out in front of us. Take our belt. Reaching up. As tall as we can. So if you need to, you can lean a little bit back. 
so that you can have straight legs. Shoulders away from the ears. And then, keeping that lovely lift, take the arms out to the side. Check that your back waist, you're not pushing forward, so your lower abdomen is activated, drawing into the spine. And then we're going to just lift the arms up, make a Y shape, or if you can, parallel line. Or you can just leave the arms out there. And we're reaching for the ceiling, dropping the shoulders down, backs of the palms behind. Sit bones down. Check that you're lengthening through both heels. Toes pointing to the ceiling. Um, if that gets a bit too tiring, you can just take your arms out to the side or you can catch, have the hands behind you on the floor. Drop the shoulders, thumbs behind. One more breath. And down, bringing the fingertips on the floor. Just relax for a moment. So we're just going to slide the hands away as much as you can. Lift up really tall again and then just slide your hands back behind you. So you're bringing the chest forward. So, let, so if you could go in a slumpy position and then take your hands out to the side and then slide the hands back and as you do, open the chest. Really stretch your hands away. Lift them up, turn your palms. And again, we're gonna drop down. So I think Vico, if you just do it, um, arms out, shoulder height is lovely or just slightly lower and concentrate on taking the arms back behind you so that you're opening your chest. Do you know what? I think we'll all do that. Let's just drop our arms again, just to shoulder height. Now, slightly below shoulder height and then take your arms behind you. So can you feel how that helps you open the chest? Your shoulder blades are squeezing together. Arms up, uh, head, crown of the head up to the ceiling. Lovely, let's just hold that for a few more breaths. Breathing. What's happened to the legs? Keep stretching through the heels. Sit one down. Two more breaths. See if you can get a feeling of bringing the pelvic floor in and up. And release. Yeah, that's actually a much better look for, for most of you. Lovely, okay, so from there we're going to now go to the floor. Thank goodness, did I hear you say? And if you need something under your head, just check you've got that. Let's just hug the right knee to the chest, tuck the shoulders under. Keep that left knee bent for the moment. Left foot on the floor, just hugging that right knee to the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then just catch under uh, behind your um, thigh, and we're going to rotate. So let's do some foot rotations. Make sure that you've got something under your head. If that makes it, if, it, if that stops you from your, your head from falling backwards and your chin going up in the air. Do you want your, your neck to be nice and long? Okay, change the direction of your circles. Let's just bend our knee and if you take your right hand inside and catch 
See if you can catch around your um, the sole of your foot, your instep. So you've got your right hand and it's inside the right foot and you're holding with the right hand. Bend your knee. Use your right hand, Richard, inside your right, inside, not outside, inside. You want your right hand? You've got it out. You want it in. Catch around your instep and then just see if you can straighten. You can use a belt. If that's impossible, just use your belt. But you can keep your knee bent, that's absolutely fine, and just begin to get that stretch. Or if you can straight. Try not to uh, impact on your shoulders, so keep your shoulders relaxed. Nice, and then release. Both feet back on the floor, and then we're just going to hug that left knee to the chest. Get as close in as you can. And then catching under, at the back of your um, thigh, we're doing rotations. So straightening up that left leg, rotating in the ankle. You can have your knee bent to make that easier, or you can use your belt and catch with your belt if you find that it's a bit awkward to to hold around um, the thigh. Change direction. Lovely, and then release. Now bend. Your, your knee again. We're taking our left arm and we're putting it inside. And then we're just going to catch around the uh, instep. Now, if that's not not happening for you, you can use your belt around your left foot. And then again, using that left hand, you can just catch the belt wherever um, it's going to work. And then we're going to begin to straighten if we can. So those of you that are holding the instep, then lovely, see if you can stretch from there. So you're going to feel that up the hamstring, breathing into that stretch. That's lovely, Jacinta. So your knee's going to be more bent. I want you to start off with the bent knee. And then get the stretch going up through the heel. And then you really can target the, um, the hamstring muscle. Keep the shoulders relaxed, using something under your head if you need it. Lovely. Let's do a couple more breaths. Nice, and then release. And let's now bring both knees up. Both knees in towards your chest. Take the knees apart. Get your hands. Take your hands inside and see if you can catch around your, um, your insoles. <laughs> and then 
yeah, the soles of your feet is what I'm trying to say, the arches of the feet. And then see if you can stretch. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter if your legs aren't straight, so but if you can, straighten through the heels. And release, bringing the feet together and hug the knees. Let's put that left foot down and take the right ankle in front of that left knee. We're going to take that right hand and just catch to pull the knee forward. Shoulders rolling back and down. lovely and then we will swap so bring your right leg down and we're taking the left ankle in front of the right knee and just don't forget that if you need something under your head it, it's really worth it it makes the whole pose um, more enjoyable and then we're taking that left hand through the gap between the legs and we're catching either the around the thigh or the shin or if that's not working, you can obviously use your belt, catch around your belt. Relax the shoulders. Amazing. Nice, and then release. Lovely. Do you want to really try and soften in to that position um, so that therefore holding it a bit longer definitely helps? Right, we're bringing something a little bit raised like our blocks or a bolster to the right hand side. Bringing our knees up, we're going to take our knees over to the right. As we do so, we check that we've got our left shoulder down. Find the right um, distance for your knees. So you might want your knees further away or you might want to bring them quite high up. The lower you have them, you're going to feel it more in the hips. So check that we're not sticking our rib cage out. The rib cage wants to connect down into the spine. And we're breathing. 
So this is a relaxation position. We're looking to feel as we breathe in that the breath fills the belly. So there's a rise and fall of the breath. Lovely, and then we'll take that to the other side. So coming back to our uh, centre position, swapping over whatever we were using to the left side. Bring our knees up, and we're letting our knees roll over to the left. You can cross the legs if that works for you. And at the same time, we're rotating into the right shoulder this time. Allowing that belly to rise and fall on the inhalation and the exhalation. And if you feel a deep breath coming, just really let that fill your belly. Beautiful. So it becomes a really lovely relaxation position. Great. And then from there, we're going to take that into our uh, relaxation proper. So we're going to use something under our knees if we find that is comfortable. And we can have our blanket because it's still Scotland and it's a bit overcast. So we're going to lie in a straight line. If you're using something to raise up your knees then even so make sure that you're still symmetrical. We're letting our toes fall away from the heels, tucking the shoulders under and then making sure that we've got something under our head if if we know that that prevents our chin from sticking up tuck our shoulders under and then we can take our arms out to the side so the more you rotate your shoulders the more you can get the palms facing up to the ceiling fingers curling And we're just going to bring the awareness to that breath, that inhalation, exhalation. Allowing the rise and fall. Of the breath.
see if you can allow the weight at the back of your shoulders to fall a little bit more into, into your mat. So you're giving the weight of your body, the weight of your shoulders, your trunk to the mat. Your arms can fall a little bit more heavily. Lovely. And then we're going to just take a deep breath, move our fingers and toes, stretch our arms and legs. And then just have a good stretch and then roll onto one side. Just taking a moment on one side, feel how your body is um, feeling, feeling, notice how your body's feeling. Lovely, and then when you're ready, just pop up into sitting so we can finish together. And we're taking our hands together Lovely straight spine, shoulders relaxed. Lovely, thank you.